Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly add or edit items in a combo box in your Microsoft Access databases. This is a popular question that I get all the time. People ask me, well, I got a combo box here. It's got, let's say, my shipping methods. Okay. And I want to add something to this. It's not DHL or Pony Express or any of these. Maybe I got to add, like, you know, Starfleet Courier. So it'd be nice to have a little button you can click like that that pops up this little menu here where you can just type in whatever you want to. And then that appears in the list for you. See? Otherwise, you got to close this, close that, go back to your main menu or whatever form you use to build it, add it, then go back in, back into the order. You see what I'm saying? So it'd be nice to make this little button right there. How do we do that? Well, let me show you. Before we get started, a couple prerequisites. If you haven't watched my blank template video, go watch that first. It'll explain how I built the blank template that I'll be using to start this class with. So I don't have to reinvent the wheel with every class, right? Go watch my invoicing video. These are all free videos, by the way. I'll put links down below. This explains how I built the order form. You'll need to know relationships, so go watch that video. And you'll have to know how relational combo boxes work. That's where you can pick a value to put in one table based on a list from another table. So if you don't know how any of those four things work, go watch those videos. They're all free. You'll find links down below. Okay, so here I am in the Tech Help Free Template. You can download a copy of this off my website, as you already know, since you watched the other videos. Customer form orders. I don't have any way on here of tracking how I'm shipping this order. So let's add a shipping table first. All right, create table design. We'll call it shipping... I can't type today, shipping ID, that's our auto number, and then shipping name. Remember, not just name, never use just the word name, name's a reserved word. We're gonna save this as shipping T, it's my shipping table. Primary key, yup, there we go. All right, and let's put some data in it. What do we got in here? We got UPS, USPS, FedEx, all right, DHL, whatever else on, okay? Uh, Starfleet Courier. Okay. <laughs> All right. Save that. Close it. Now I'm picking a shipping ID, right? So I need a place to save that data in my order table. So let's go over to the order table, design view. We're going to add that right here. Shipping ID. That'll be a number of type long integer. It's a foreign key, right? It's primary key in the shipping table, but in the order table, it's a foreign key. And I like to keep all my keys up top. So we'll put it right there. All right save that now if you have to go back in here and give everybody that's in here already a shipping id you can just type them in if you want to if you got a lot of them in there you can use an update query to fill them all in if you want to put a default value in here you can right shipping id make the default value one so we'll start off with whatever one is ups or whatever we made it okay so we've got our tables all set now let's go make a little form so we can edit the shipping information now i've got my continuous f down here that's my blank i'm going to copy that copy Control c Paste Control V. We'll call this shipping F, my shipping form. Let's edit it. Design view. Real simple little guy. We don't need to see the ID. I don't care what that is. I really don't care about that label. Let's get rid of these sections here. Slide that over. Slide this over. Edit the form's properties. We're going to make the record source our shipping table. And then we're going to set this guy, this text box, so the control source is shipping name. Go to all and make it the name of the field too, right? Shipping name. And literally all this is is a simple little form that just does that. That's all it is. Okay. And that's what we want. We want a nice simple little form that pops up over our other form. Now let's go into the order form and we'll put a combo box here so we can pick our shipping type, right? Design view. This is why I wanted you to watch all those other videos. Let's just drop it right here, right? Find the combo box. Where are you at? There you are. Drop it here, find the values from another table or query. Where are we getting the list of values from? The shipping table. Next, bring over both fields. Remember, ID is when we're actually saving. Next, sort it if you want to. Shipping name's fine. Next, that's what it'll look like. Looks good. Next, store that value in shipping ID, right? We're picking a shipping ID from a list of the shipping types, and we're saving that in the shipping ID field in the order table. That's how combo boxes work, right? Go rewatch that relational combo boxes if that's confusing to you. 
next. What label do you want? Whatever, ship. And then we're done. All right, so there's the little shipping label. We can stick that there. Move you up next to it. Do a little format paint, maybe from this guy here. Grab the format painter and go, dink. There we go. Okay. Save it. Close it. Let's open it back up again. All right. Looks good. That's our shipping methods are right here. Now, how do I get that little box down there? Let's say I want to add one. I forgot to put Pony Express in here. Right? I don't want to have to close this and close this and then go back and find this and add it in here. Right? I want to add it right on the form. So, open up the properties for the combo box. Oh, it's combo 14. Let's give it a good name too, right? Remember that shipping combo. Go to the data tab and find this guy. List items edit form right there. This is the form that's going to pop up to let you edit that list. There's our shipping F right there. Okay. Save it. Close it. Close it. Now open it up. Drop it down. There's your button click on that it pops this guy up it's modal right so you can't click behind it anywhere you gotta do stuff on this box and close it if it's not in the right spot just widen it out a little bit like that and we'll slide it over here and save it save it in the position that you want it to pop up in and modal forms will close the navigation box i i hate that i don't like how that happens with that you just gotta deal with that okay drop this down again pop it open look at that how nice and pretty all right pony express Close it. Now you still got to pick the value in the box, but it's in there. See? How nice and easy that is. And that is how you make a list items edit form. I cover a lot more with list items edit forms in Access Beginner Level 8. We'll do something similar with lead sources. Do a very similar shipping example. And then we'll go into even more detail with them in Access Expert Level 4. We'll do some crazy stuff with family members. You'll find links to both of those classes down below the video in the description below. You go ahead and click on those. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Post them in the comments section. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, 
if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website and you can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.